I am a physical therapist and I work in a cancer, outpatient cancer rehabilitation setting. And I find that I have a, a lot of patients who come to me who do not have a palliative care provider. And so I, I try to make that recommendation and I, I'm wondering, in terms of timing, what do you recommend? When is the best time to do that? Great question, Anya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so palliative care, um, for those on the call who don't know, that's that's my field. Um, that's the profession, the growing sort of healthcare profession that is really concerned around quality of life and treating suffering rather than disease. Um, and this is and. And as such, it is, as a field, is very much a field of advocacy. Um, so, so that's a little bit of what palliative care is. And as and as Anya, as you're suggesting here, palliative care can be an incredibly important piece of the mix. When you're in the acute care mode, you got multiple specialists, and on a patient, oftentimes no primary care. Um, to to kind of quarterback things, that can be left to you, the caregiver. Um, and one of the ways to get a lot of help very quickly is to get a palliative care team involved. So um, the problem is um, palliative care isn't very well represented uh, across the country. <laughs> there are places, often metropolitan areas, that have a pretty good smattering of palliative care programs. Um, they are often housed within a health system or a hospital system. So the first thing to do would be to ask your ask the person's physician, primary care physician, or any of the physicians. Or screw the position, ask the social worker or the nurse, mm. if you can get a hold of them, whether or not there are palliative care services. Um, someone in that system should know. It shouldn't be a hard question to answer. Um, and if you can also, if, you, if that doesn't get you anywhere, there's a website called getpalliativecare.org where you can type in your, um, your location and you'll see what palliative care programs are available. And then you can just call those programs directly. Sometimes those programs will require, often they will require a doctor's referral. And some of those programs are limited about what diseases they, tend, they are willing or able to, not willing, they are able to see. Um, so there are limitations program dependent. So it's a hot I will say, I can't kind of, I have to say here, uh, this is exactly why or so much of why Sonia and I have started Mental Health. Um, which is online palliative care counseling and coaching so that you don't need a referral from a doctor and you can even if you live somewhere where there's no palliative care program for miles you have access to this kind of advocacy um, and this kind of support online so anyway that's a big whirlwind kind of overview um, about palliative care and ways to get it involved but on your back to your question too here I would say it's never too soon to at least inquire of palliative care. Is that coming from my, do you guys hear some feedback? Can you hear someone maybe need to mute? Um, anyway, or maybe it's coming from me. Anyway, um, one big question is even if you can come here with the program, sometimes the question is when do you involve palliative care? It often comes up in around hospice, like when to involve hospice, which is a subset of palliative care, you know, at the end of life, in the final months of life. So in both cases, hospice, that subset of palliative care or, or palliative care writ large, I would encourage you guys, especially in the advocate, with your advocate hat on, to inquire before there's a need for palliative care, inquire what the palliative care options are for you. And this way you can kind of prepare and plan and you can know what's coming. So if you are armed on there, if you know that, ah, in my system, I've got a palliative care program that's open to people with cancer, or heart disease, or any other disease, and uh, I've called them, and they do take my insurance, or they, you know, whatever it is, then you're ready to go. And when that moment when uh, it feels like you need more support, then you can call that palliative care program, and, and away you go. Um, and you don't have to overthink it. Like I say, most people wait, wait, way too long and suffer way too long needlessly. So I would, when in doubt, call palliative care. You can oftentimes have one meeting with them, a consult with that program, and they can tell you what they can offer, and they can help you uh, in way, you can get started helping you in all sorts of ways. Or again, they'll meet you, you know they're there, they're in the background, and when you need more help, it's just easy to 
um, bring them in. So bottom line, I would encourage all of us, all of, in any, and in any caregiver capacity for someone who's seriously ill or chronically ill, find out the powder care programs in your area, reach out to mental health, and do it sooner than later. I've never met anyone who's regretted involving palliative care too soon. I've only met people who regret involving palliative care too late.